Watch this. All right, uh, Druid, I want no part of this. Have I tried the adventure yet? Yeah, I finished the first uh, chapter on my lunch break. I just went like a clean 8-0 on it. Um, I'll probably play some more of it uh, off stream. I can't wait to pitch the soul fire with the soul fire because it's never, never going to hit the silver war golem. Them's just the rules. Honestly, it's pretty fun. I really like the the solo content. Um, sure, let's get sad even sooner. Oh, <gasps> we did it! But I really like the the replayability of it, right? Like, it, there's a lot of different um, things that can happen that uh, seem pretty interesting. There are a lot of different paths you can take with it. I'm looking forward to doing the heroic nonsense, but I'm just kind of bummed. Like, the, the biggest deterrent for me is how terrible, terrible the Hearthstone AI is. <laughs> like, it just makes the dumbest decisions, and uh, it kind of takes a lot of the fun out of it. So, I want to coin first, do this, and hopefully not hit... God. Okay, at least we hit 150-50. That wasn't even a 50-50 on the stupid Bellhound. For me, it was just another dungeon run where you can lose w because you literally weren't offered any AoE and the enemy can flood the board on turn two because they start with an extra mana. I didn't even notice that the opponent started with an extra mana. I just killed them before that. Alright. Flame Imp. Uh, I probably want to tap here, right? Tap and then we're probably PO this and then go face. Wait, no, I need to narrow down my board. I'm probably going to PO this so that I can trade two minions off. I'm going to tap. And I guess I play this. I just, I don't want to be super weak to Spreading Plague, but that's about it. Like, I can't not play this. Good morning from Vietnam. Well, uh, good evening from the... The United States. Welcome to the stream. Hey there, Mito. That is not spreading plague, so you love to see that. Uh, this is a Doom Guard, which is even better. Uh, so again, I'm just going to make some uh, kind of ugly trades here to narrow down my board. Three, five, six, face. Okay, should be good. Could Pirate Warrior be a budget deck without L Patches and Leroy? Uh, the You also lose uh, Saucy Captain. I tried that uh, earlier and didn't have a whole lot of success with it. But I think that that's if you're doing Warrior, that's the path you'd go. I tried putting like Hench Clan Thug in place of the uh, the Captain and then just like additional weapons instead of the Chargers. And it it was fine. It's just you're you're lacking a lot of the explosiveness. Patches and the Captains, I think you miss more than Leroy. Patches is consistently underrated in, in aggro decks, and uh, especially the aggro decks that run um, ship's cannon. Like, your only chance against uh, Odd Paladin and um, any other board-centric deck is, like, a good cannon turn. And you don't have a very good cannon turn without Patches. That's why I, uh, I tend to lose my mind a little bit when people ask for an unnerfed Patches. So they don't know what they're asking for. Uh, this isn't lethal. I was gonna say we could potentially tap into Fist of Jiraxis and it would, uh, but it wouldn't have been lethal. And it also could have just as easily pitched a power of overwhelming, which could have been the burst we needed. Um, I believe you only get the cloak if you buy it with real money. I'm. I'm not sure. I think you can craft it as well, but I think that you only get it for free if you um, if you buy it. Uh, that's just lethal. 
Fist him. Same guy? Same guy. Like, I'll keep these two together. And there's a friendly... Oh, okay. Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. I really like that part of it, too. That you can, like, pare down your deck and stuff. That was my favorite part. I like removing cards. Best of five match going on here? Well, hopefully it's a best of five, because that means we win this one, right? Alright, we'd play the Tiny Knight, we coin a Doom Guard next turn. I'm a little bit bummed that the opponent is going to be able to kill the, uh, the Imp, but... Nope, not going to kill the Imp. You're wrecked, nerd. Alright, I am a little bit disappointed that we're going to pitch a Doom Guard with a Doom Guard, but that's like... That's just the natural life cycle of a, uh, of a Doom Guard. Stop it. Let's actually see if we can keep this on the board for another turn and uh, both of these on the board for another turn and get the Doom Guard. Opponent seems very confused about what to do here. I don't know that hero power is accomplishing much. That accomplishes quite a bit. I'm gonna have to kill that, huh? God, that card, man. All right, well, still just playing this. Where were you last turn? Uh, poison seeds is a problem. The fact that this dies is a problem. Vargo three cast hero power. <laughs> if only. Spreading plague is. Oh, that's what you're going for, sure. Okay, just removing some of the. Some of the damage on board. Do I take the risk? I hate this game so much. Just kidding, it's fine. Fist that one. Uh, we're going face because that blocks the... Uh, it makes spreading plague awkward. It makes swipe better, but only slightly. We're probably just playing the Crystal Weaver next turn anyway. So what's the win condition of this deck? My deck? The win condition of my deck is to hit the opponent in the face. How much more do I need? in terms of, like, the, the value off of this imp. Is it better to have the imp or a 4-3 is the question. I'm leaning towards the 4-3, and then we go Crystal Weaver into Succubus. I could also just give up the uh, the Crystal Weaver, but it, like, it makes the trades line up really nicely. So I think it's uh, Crystal Weaver. So many I did that in the wrong way. So <sighs> yeah. I'm good at things. Hey, you see? I hate when my brain, like, directs me to do... Or my mouth does says one thing, and then my brain does another. Tap last? It was supposed to be tap never, so... Shut up. Got him. What druid is this? Uh, it w this is a jade druid. We saw the idol last turn. It's also the, the only one that runs the war mage, I think, right now. It's also just like armor druid. 
as we've seen. At one point, the opponent had like a billion armor. I'm going to tap first this time because of that card. I guess I play this. I've already seen one plague, so I'm not too concerned about the second. Yeah. It's much better than uh, plague. I can, I can kill that with the PO, and then it narrows down my board for the plague. Although opponent is going to kill off the minion that I want to PO with the, just a hero power, I think. It's not a matchup where we want to go wide. Hey, Dexter. How are you doing tonight? Got a celebrity in chat. Okay. He did the thing that made sense. I could cycle the PO or use it for damage. Um, I think I want to ship some damage upstairs while I can. So I go six. Like I have potential lethal if I do this. I'm definitely lethal if I do this. Easy game. Alright, um, I think I keep the, uh, I think I keep the soul fire with this hand with the tiny knight. I'll probably go void walker into tiny knight coin soul fire. The results of the copy pasta into translate, then translate back to English. I love it. I knew something was a little bit off there. Alright, so this is why we kept the uh, the soul fire. So we can go like this. I kind of wanted that card. Hey Raffle, I just turned five years old. My dad says I'm pretty good at this game and I should watch your stream to learn how to not play bad. He said he stole your high school girlfriend. Oh yeah, I'm Tanner Jr. by the way. Nice to meet you. Damn. Can't even escape the second generation. All right, I don't think I need this PO. I do like the idea of these extra buffs on my, uh, on my minions though. Uh, that's a really good draw. I think I'll take it. Uh, that's just never dying, Lawrence. Yeah, you're dying though, Lawrence. Oh, all right, let's see. Uh, maybe I should play a different budget deck so that I don't hit legend already.